Thank you, Zach. A year after the civil unrest in Richmond, Virginia's highest court is deciding whether or not to remove the Robert E. Lee monument. Some see the statue as a symbol of white supremacy, while others don't want it removed. Our Brendan King listened in during the hearing tonight. He's got the latest. Brendan? I did, Bill and Candace, and the Lee statue here on Monument Avenue was erected 130 years ago. Fast forward to 2021, and now after legal challenge after legal challenge, the state says they are confident the statue will come down. It's the history of hatred. On a muggy spring afternoon in downtown Richmond. That statue gonna come down, and we're gonna be celebrating when it come down. A demand heard loud and clear. Good morning and welcome to this virtual session of the Supreme Court of Virginia. Tuesday morning, seven judges heard oral arguments on the fate of the General Robert E. Lee statue on Monument Avenue. And ultimately, the restrictive covenants that we rely on are and were valid and enforceable. Homeowners near the Confederate statue believe an 1890 deed demands the state must protect and preserve the monument forever. If the governor two years later had a changed his mind and wanted to take the monument down in 1892, Mr. Gregory's great-grandparents could have stopped that. A handful of individuals cannot force the Commonwealth to maintain in perpetuity. Attorney General Mark Herring spoke to reporters following the hearing. We have won every single challenge so far, and yet, even though we've won, there is an injunction in place, and that should be dissolved as quickly as possible. Others want the statue to remain, calling the figure a memorial to those who died defending the South during the Civil War. I would say we are one step closer to getting this racist statue down. Herring says it could take months for the Supreme Court of Virginia to hand down a verdict, and even then, the plaintiffs can appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court. Uh, the first step in uh, an appeal would be to file a petition to ask for an appeal, so you know, that can be a long process, but uh, I will say again that, that I feel confident in our case. Well, yesterday you heard from Herring's Democratic challenger, Delegate Jay Jones from Norfolk. He also wants these statues to come down. He ties the removal of the Confederate statues to the ongoing civil justice, criminal justice reform in our state. In the meantime, we'll let you know. We'll keep you updated if we hear back from the Supreme Court of Virginia on this controversial case.